Hello, I'm Dr. Carl Dominic Calentino. I'm an interventional cardiologist from the Medical City, South Luzon. I'm going to discuss about coronary intervention or angioplasty for the management of coronary artery disease. What is percutaneous coronary intervention? Percutaneous coronary intervention or PCI or angioplasty is a procedure to open the blockage in the arteries of the heart to maintain normal blood flow. Uh, when you say blockages, this usually refers to cholesterol deposits and this procedure is done without the need for open heart surgery. When do we need to do angioplasty? So we usually do PCI or angioplasty when there is chest pain or angina that is not relieved by your heart medications. Of course, not all chest pain is because of blockage to your heart arteries. Um, usually, this um, chest pain is crushing or squeezing in character, usually in the left side of your chest, sometimes numbness to your left arm, and this is usually aggravated by exertion and relief by rest. The greater the severity of the blockage in your heart arteries, the less workload you will experience to have the chest pain. The second indication for angioplasty is if the patient had an episode of heart attack. In preparation for the procedure, your attending cardiologist will tell you which medications to take and which medications to hold. He will also tell you to clean your wrists or your groin because these are the access areas for the procedure. He will also tell you when you will take your last meal before the procedure. It is also important to tell your cardiologist if you have any allergies to any medications, seafood, or contrast dye, or if you are pregnant. During the procedure, an intravenous line will be inserted in your arm where medications may be given to prevent blood clots. Sedation will also be given before and during the procedure, but you need to be awake because the doctor will give you instructions that you need to follow. Coronary angioplasty has several stages. The first stage is to determine if your heart arteries have significant blockage. And this is performed using the coronary angiogram. The coronary angiogram is done in the cath lab where the patient will lie down and an x-ray machine will continuously produce an image of your heart vessels. So during the procedure, one of the arteries on your wrist will be accessed and a small tube or a catheter will pass through that artery and using several x-ray images, we will direct that catheter to the vessels of your heart. And using a small amount of dye, we will be able to visualize the arteries of your heart. If we have determined that you have significant blockage of your heart arteries and it is feasible to perform the coronary angioplasty, we can actually perform the procedure on that same procedure and using the same access. Before the angioplasty procedure, we will exchange the catheter to a slightly larger tube or catheter and we will then again direct it to the vessels of your heart using X-ray images. After which, we will then proceed with the next two stages, the balloon angioplasty and the stent angioplasty. During balloon angioplasty, a balloon tipped into the catheter is guided into the artery and through the blockage. And this balloon is gradually and progressively inflated and deflated to push the blockage to the side of the artery. This is done repeatedly until we achieve favorable results. To keep the artery open, stent angioplasty is then performed. In this procedure, a stent over the balloon is directed or guided into the artery and through the blockage. On inflation of the balloon, the stent is opened and this stent is left in place to keep the artery open. After the procedure, an inflatable device is placed on your wrist after removal of the catheter. And this inflatable device is gradually deflated for about three to four hours to prevent the artery from where it was accessed from bleeding. 
The patient can actually ambulate a few hours after the sedation has worn off since most of our procedures are now done in the wrist. Coronary angioplasty is just one part in the management of your coronary artery disease. Your doctor will instruct you on the proper diet, exercise, and the medications that you need to take in order to manage your coronary artery disease. Here at the Medical City South Luzon, we perform coronary angioplasties. If you have any heart-related concerns, you can visit us and we will take care of you.